and then add the so that the result is a P. Okay? That's why, in other words, I need to take sigma of I subset to S A I so that the result is P. Okay? Right? So that's uh, that's how we write this. But to formalize this one further, actually I need, rather than saying I in subset S, I can rewrite this one like this. This is actually sigma for all I, AI times XI should be P, where XI is either 0 or 1. Okay. So in other words, if XI, for example, this means, what does this mean? This means A1, X1 plus A2, X2 plus A3, X3 up to A, N, X, X, right? Yes? So you can see that if the XI is 1, that means, for example, this one is 1, you will get A1. If this X2 is 0, that means you don't get this one. It's 0. Okay? If this one is 0, that means you don't get this one. If this one is 1, then that means you add A4. Do you understand what I mean? All right? So that's why the notation can be changed to something like this. So it's just to so formally, uh, formally denote this. That would be easier if we denote it like that, where x i is either zero or one. Okay. Right, that's the formalization of the knapsack problem. So this, this knapsack problem uh, is also known as a sub 